Well, howdy, everybody. Uh, I don't know if that camera's on me or not. Who cares? No promises. Uh, I done my A. This is Saturday, by the way. Saturday the 19th, 2015. I done my AM this morning. That was from 7.30 to 9.30. Or I'll write down 8 to 10. But I did that. And then I stopped at the tractor barn. And I took the tire off a tractor I used. They, uh... <laughs> can't remember the number of it. It's a riding mower. But it's a 7... 740? I think. I don't know. But I took the tire off of it. Because I have to take the tire off my girl's car. It has a slow leak in it. I took them both in. I don't know if I'm keeping the camera on me or not. But the uh, girl's car, her tire, it was a bent rim. So they smacked the rim, straightened it up, and it stopped leaking. No charge. Cool. So I took the tractor tire in. Of course, I told them separate bills, but they said no charge for the one, so that's cool. I took the tractor tire in. Both sides of the bead is leaking. It wasn't bent. It just never sealed good. Mud and stuff. They cleaned it up and put some sealer on it. Eight dollars. Whatever. I uh, took the girl's tire back. Put it back on her car. And left. I went up to the uh, clubhouse. Got my trailer. Came back to the winery where he called it a bench and he didn't want it, wanted to get rid of it. He asked me if I wanted it and I thought, yeah, I, I can take it. I mean, if nothing else, we can, me and Keith can cut it up and burn it. But uh, we want to build an entertainment center. And I thought, well, there's a good start for an entertainment center. That big old 10 foot long bench. So I got that. I was pulling it out of the basement of the winery. And Lisa, she's the girl that's in charge of the winery there. She's, where's your help? And I said, I don't have no help. I never have any help. I always do everything by myself, I told her. You can't move that without help. You gotta have help. That thing's heavy. I said, ha ha. I never have help, Lisa. Nobody ever helps me. I do my job and I do it well. Well, I brought two furniture dollies with me that I built. So I pick up one end of the bench, put it on a furniture dolly. Pick up the other side, put it on the furniture dolly. Which the dollies are made to go through a standard door. and. As luck would have it, that bench was made exactly the same width. I thought, oh, I'm going to make her right through the door, no problem. But well, she's just having this big hootie of fit about she's going to be so busy and oh, blah, blah, blah. You're going to, I'm telling you right now, I don't mean to be mean or nothing, but I'm telling you right now, you're going to have to either get that thing out of here or set it back where it was and wait till some other day. I am so busy. <laughs> is what she's saying. I just ignored her. So I got that in the dollies and pushed it over by the door and stopped. What are you doing? Well, you get it out of here. Get it out of here. I said, I'm going to put the tables and the chairs back where they go. So I put the tables and chairs back. I put them up against the wall. They was in front of the bench. So I just put them up against the wall and put the chairs back around them. Whole time she's having a fit telling me how busy she is and everything. It's like, man, I know better. That there is so many times I got to do your dang job because you won't do it, and it ain't because you're busy. I see you sitting at the bar, doing absolutely nothing, playing on that stupid phone, texting people, and everything else. 
And then you warned me about Michael worried about people that's goofing around on him. <laughs> You're the biggest goof off and dummy I know. So anyway, I put the chairs back and tables back, walk back over the bench. Within 30 seconds, 30 seconds, <laughs> I have this thing out the door and sitting on the back dock. And I pulled my truck down in the bottom parking lot, you know. So I go down, I get my truck, pull it up to the where where it's at. It's a handicapped parking real close to the building. So I pull the trailer up by the handicapped parking, get out. Of course, everyone knows my trailer's got a plastic floor that I built on it. So I pick up one end of the bench, put it up on the plastic floor. And just simply slide it right on. Slid it on, and I laid it on its back, strapped it one little strap, took off. I thought, what in the world is her problem? You know, it only takes me a few seconds to do anything. So I get it out, take it home. Well, I'll take it to the clubhouse. And, uh,. I left it on the trailer, took my strap off so no one would steal it, threw it back in the truck. And it's sitting on the trailer at the house. And we got a book at the house. If any of you ever come to the clubhouse, there's a book there. And you're welcome to fill in the next date and write whatever you want in it. It's the uh, Bikers of Ill Repute Diary, I think is what we call it. But I've wrote in it the last three or four times. Keith ain't wrote a dang thing. Last week, I wrote, the last thing I wrote was last week, I wrote that I was there the whole weekend waiting for Keith to write something because we just slam each other just for fun in it. But uh, he never wrote a dang thing. He's too worried about this Asian chick. And he's going to have to get with it, you know? Hey, Keith, Asian chick's fine. We'll do it, whatever. But the thing is... When you're at the clubhouse, let's get with it. We're at the clubhouse to have fun. That's what it's for. But anyway, enough of that. Anyway, I uh, put, put, took the strap off, put it in the truck, just left it on the trailer sitting up there. But I got ahead and I got the yard all mowed, first time in a month. <laughs> and believe it or not, mine's the greenest lawn in that whole place. And it's like, everybody mows every week. And they seem that they, they mow like an inch, leave about an inch of grass. And all their grass and their lawns just look so burnt up and everything. <laughs> I mowed day, and after I got done mowing, mine is still the greenest lawn in the whole neighborhood. Because <laughs> I don't mow every week. That's stupid. <laughs> of course, once a month is a little out there, but whatever. So anyway, I got the lawn mowed, and I had some time to sit down and and uh, rest before I had to come to work. And now I'm here at work. I just got done. I ran to the tractor barn, put the tire back on the tractor. It's ready to go for whenever. Hopefully, it'll keep air in it now. Uh, let me see. It's 2.49. I don't have to start till 3, and I'm in no big hurry. I don't really give a crap right now. And I'm sure Keith knows why, you know, when you're at the clubhouse, I'm sure Keith knows why I'm in no hurry and could care less, like what Pug says, zero F's given. <laughs> but uh, now I'm going to get ready to do my PM work, feed the horses, put them out to pasture and stuff like that, and check out the alpaca, clean up their poop again. And, Dump it all in the poop pile, and I'll be done for the day. I'll be done about 5 o'clock. So, that's my day. Yeah. Oh, and another thing I wanted to say. It's the reason I wanted to make a video, too. Uh, we're doing uh, Ohio, A through Z. Keith, uh, I heard about a good restaurant. And I don't know if it's legal or not, but instead of going to E... D, A, B, C, D, E, yeah. We're supposed to do E next week. Can we just go to, uh, what would it be called? W, W. 
you know, because winter's coming. We, I don't know if we'll ever finish the A through Z or not. But uh, I heard of a good restaurant in a W. So I'll talk to you later. You'll know what W it is. And if you want to tell the people what W we're going to, you can. But we won't mention the restaurant or anything. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's W. I think so. But I'll talk to you later, whatever. And uh, I'm going to put this video up. But hey, it's R, A through Z. And if I want to skip a through few letters, a few letters, I will, okay? And if you got a problem with it, you know what? We're LLC. There's nothing you can do about it. Our whole biker club is LLC. Ha 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 ha! Can't sue us! Ha ha ha! But uh, we'll see you next Tuesday. Oh, and get ready. Next Tuesday, I got a wing dilly of a video I want to put up. Oh, there'll be all kinds of controversy, uh, speech impediments. Uh, what other kind of big words we can find next Tuesday? So we'll see y'all later. And you have a nice day. And and like Keith says, don't poop your pants. <laughs> Bye. Walnut Creek. That's where I want to go, Keith, next week. Walnut Creek. I remember the word. Okay. This ne next little bit of uh, thing. I, uh, I sub subscribe to One Lonely Farmer. I like watching him doing the hay baling and stuff like that, his work. I don't get to do any hay baling. Uh, we have a neighbor who has a baler and stuff, small bales, like, you know, here I'll show you. Just these small bales, they ain't very big. I mean, that's my hand on a bale. I mean, that's one, two, three. Yeah, I get about three and a half hands wide. That's not a very big bale. But, uh, he has a baler, so my boss man lets him get the first cut, the second cut. He fills up our hay lofts and stuff for our horses and alpacas. But anyway, uh, since I'm a subscriber to uh, OneLonelyFarmer.com, when he sent Reject off to be butchered, oh, and send me the meat if you don't want it. But anyway, uh, they said no more animals. Of course, his boys in the background say horses. Well, i just like to know. This is my horse stalls. I'm a rancher. I take care of horses and alpacas. But this is my horse stall. You notice how clean this sucker is? Huh? Yeah, this is the uh, main walkway for it. Of course, over here is the shower for our horses which gets cleaned twice a week even though it's never used hardly once a year this is a stall which gets cleaned there's oops there's a cobweb there's uh, no horses in this stall but it uh, it too as you can tell it's clean completely clean twice a week clean it this stall here we just keep the cat food, and I go ahead, you know, it's clean twice a week, same as the rest of them, but uh, it's where the cats eat. Another room, you know, every, every uh, twice a week here on the right side of our barn, all this is cleaned twice a week. Now on this side is our stalls, and... Uh, I just cleaned this one out, put a little bit of lime down. Once a week we put lime down on where they've peed to kind of get the smell of yarn out of the air, which hardly, after I clean, you, you can't hardly smell a thing in this barn. It smells like hay. That's about it. But each stall is all clean, same as the uh, commons area that I just showed you. But uh, I'm just wondering. One lonely farmer, why don't you give me a shot of your stalls? Do you keep your stalls as clean as I keep mine? 
I bet not. I bet not. These are cleaned every day. There's one of the kitties up there hiding. That's the mean one. That's the boss cat. But here's here's another one laying on a whoa somewhere. I'm gonna have to go out. Laying on a saddle. Little black and white kitty. I'm going to leave them in there tonight. Make sure I put the key away. I'm going to leave them in there tonight. Since they're in here, I'll just shut the light off, leave the door open. They can relax in here. Usually I kick them out. But it's going to rain tonight. Let them relax. But I'm done in here now. Now all I got to do is pick up the cat food. But I wanted to add a little bit to this video. I mean, I watch at uh, OneLonelyFarmer.com, and I was just wondering if maybe he subbed back, and uh, he's watching uh, Buckeye Boy's channel. If he is, hey, way to go. If he's not, well, screw him, right? <laughs> I think that's what he'd say. And now it's starting to rain. You can hear that coming down. But... Uh, I got to run to the house, take my time to slip in for the week, turn in some other paperwork, like the tire I got fixed today, turn in the bill for that. But yes, uh, we use John Deere on this farm. So anyway, that's all I got to say. That's the end of my video. We'll see you next Tuesday and watch out for next Tuesdays because there's going to be violence, drama, uh, Espanol talking, uh, French talking, come over here and I taunt you, you stupid Americans, whatever. So we'll catch y'all later. Have a great day and Bye!